Today's railway is a patched up Victorian network buckling under the strain of record numbers of passengers. That's the message from the future chairman of HS2, Sir David Higgins. His current job is keeping today's trains running on time. Now he says we must build a brand new line. 4,000 people every morning today coming into Euston stand. That's only going to get worse. Um, recently, um, we've got 50 percent more people traveling on the trains in a bit over a decade. It's accelerated in the last few years. That's just going to get worse. Sir David Higgins has a track record of delivering on big schemes, including building this, the Olympic Stadium. But now he's got an even bigger challenge on his hands. It is not just whether a new high speed line is a good idea or a bad idea, but whether it's the best way to spend £50 billion for the future of our country. Labour's shadow chancellor this week threw doubt on their party's support for HS2. Sir David will be trying to get some of these people back on board. It was key on the Olympics to get political consensus. It's the same on a project of this size. This will be the, one of the biggest infrastructure projects in the world. It's four times the size of the Olympics three times crossrail, it has to have political consensus. Appointing a man with his pedigree sends a clear signal from the government that it's sticking with this controversial scheme. One thing that might help their cause, this hint that they could build the line sooner than planned. One of the most obvious ways to control costs is to do something quicker, and the key to that is planning. But I look at what's done overseas, and I look at the capacity of our industry here. We have some of the best designers, planners and constructors in the world. We should challenge our industry at what we can do. Sir David Higgins won't start his new job until the new year. He's got two main tasks. Keep the costs down and convince people it's worth the money. Richard Westcott, BBC News.